Morning, I'm Ryan Robinson. I'm an electromechanical engineer, went to school for robotics, uh, started with Akuma in 1986, and was a answer man for several years. I've worked for builders, distributors, and manufacturers, and started working on twin turret machines in 1991. I specialize in lathes, but work on mills as well uh, as uh, verticals, as well as horizontal milling machines. I've been working with Gibbs Cam since 1988. I know Akuma, Fanuc, Siemens, Mitsubishi Controls, and a few others. Um, have had many man management positions over the years, and I've always been a hands-on kind of person. Why do you want a Miano? It's all about productivity. Everyone knows making chips equals making money. If your machines aren't running, they aren't making money. Many people think that if they keep their guys at the machines, they must be making money. This is not always the case. Let's take a closer look at this. What prevents you from making chips? Slow setups. If it takes longer to set up, that cuts into your production time. Slow programs. If programs cannot run efficiently and have a lot of dead time, you make less parts. Or tool life. If you are always changing tools, you're not running parts. Or machine capability. If a machine cannot multitask, it will always be slower. Newer machines are generally faster and more capable. Production interruptions and machine uptime issues. Are there times when you could be running that you're not and are shutting down? Do you have reliability issues? Newer, newer machines tend to be more reliable, faster, and have more capability. You'll notice that you can still have a guy at your machine and have all of these things going on. A Miano can help you make more chips by reducing slow setups. Adding a touch setter can help speed up tooling um, with your tool offsetting and getting them set up. Using the pulse wheel mode for program prove-outs can make prove-outs faster while still being safe. The SimCom control has many features that will help you with your setup. It has custom screens built in that can assist on tooling setup, programming codes, split screen editing, timing code displays, and also some programming capability that may not be in other controls. Some of the features that other builders may not have include up to four M codes can be programmed on one line, this allows for faster programming by combining things such as turning on more than one coolant, starting the spindle, and turning on an air blow all at the same time. Tool clearances are automatically checked when new tools are indexed into position. This prevents a potential collision and allows for faster indexing by only returning to a point where the tools clear the workpieces. By reducing travels during indexing, chip-to-chip -chip time becomes shorter. Spindle and live tool acceleration times have been improved as well to help reduce wait time. Part ejection is done by a simple M code. The ejection cycle is optimized for maximum efficiency. Even things like ejection retraction, ejector retraction occur while the axis is moving. Many ejection routines are servo controlled rather than by air cylinder for increased efficiency. The Miano machines come prepped for unmanned production. Multifunction machines are equipped with bar feeder interfaces and parts catchers to allow for running lights out. Tool life can be improved by having a more rigid machine. If tools are stable, they do not vibrate as much and last longer. Box ways help with tool rigidity. High precision live tools with lower runout also boost tool life. Single one piece casting with Integral webbing provides a stable platform for cutting. A rigid spindle design with larger distances between front and rear bearings helps keep spindle runout and deflection to a minimum. Both angular contact and dual roller bearings are used in the design for axial and radial stability. Miano can have up to three tools in the cut simultaneously. This is accomplished by having up to three turrets, all with live tooling and Y-axis capability. Patented superimposition modes are available for the overlapping of machining processes. This allows for more operations to be accomplished at the same time, whether turning or milling. Many competitors cannot do simultaneous Y-axis milling or are forced to do it on only one turret, which limits your flexibility. 
it's totally possible to have more than one live tool or turning tool on the same turret location. This means that a 12 station turret may have 20 or more tools on it. So a three turret machine could easily have 60 tools or more. This may allow for running families of parts with absolutely no changeovers. If you notice the tool on the bottom right, it has six live stations. If that tool were used in every station, you would have 216 live tools in the machine. Although not likely, it is possible. If you look at this machine's layout, you can see each of the, each of the three turrets has X, Y, and Z axis. Both spindles have C axis, and the right spindle can move in the Z direction in order to pick up from the left spindle. That brings the axis count to 12. That's not including the servos for indexing the turrets or driving the live tools. Add those in and we're at 18 drive units in a machine like this. By comparison, a FANUC zero I control can only handle four axes simultaneously. Miano can minimize your downtime by giving you new capabilities, such as lights out manufacturing. It can be highly, pro highly profitable to produce parts at night. Many people are intimidated by this, but don't realize that they're already doing it during the day. Since the machines are highly automated, only one operator can run more than one machine. It's common to have one operator run three machines. So not only are costs of operation reduced, but throughput is increased. A three turret machine is like having three lays and three machining centers rolled into one machine. That's like having one operator being able to run 18 machines. Normally a machine will run about 75% of the time. Once automation is included, not only can one operator run multiple machines, but efficiency goes up by about 15% to a 90% utilization rate. This is a uh, three turret machine. It's called the ABX 51 THY. Um, it's one of Miano's flagship machines made in a 51 and 64 size. Uh, so you can have about two and a half inches through the spindle. This has 5,000 RPM on both the main and sub spindle, 6,000 RPM live tooling, and all three turrets with Y axis. Uh, that gives you 36 tool positions. With a machine like this, you can see you can have all three tools in the cut. You can work with two turrets on the front side and be doing simultaneous operations. And then that lower turret can come over and can work on the back side. It joins up with the second turret. Um, this uses some of those 600 codes that we talked about and can work on things simultaneously. Here you can see we're drilling and turning at the same time. And there are occasions where you might need to wait, um, like that upper turret's doing right now, just to keep from running into the other turret. And then you can do pinch turning at twice the feed rate. So that also helps cut your cycle time. Now you can see we can do opposing grooving on here. And you're not limited with what you're doing at any one time. You can be grooving, you can be turning, you can be boring doing all kinds of operations simultaneously. We've got six horsepower milling on here for some nice powerful cuts. You can see those are no slouch when it comes to cutting. We've got uh, Y axis on all three turrets in here. You can see all three turrets are working doing different, different milling operations all simultaneously, all using Y axis. Now some of the competitors only have Y axis on one turret, so they're not near as capable. We can do drilling up to three quarter inch. You can see we're doing some heavy drilling there. And we can do tapping up to 14 millimeters. What I see a lot of people do is when they get a machine like this, if they have any idle time on one of the turrets, um, they will take in uh, do some additional operations, like maybe they'll do a little additional deburring that they uh, weren't able to do before, but since they've got the extra time, they'll combine it and do it. Here you can see we're doing engraving, chamfering, and drilling all at the same time. And this may be one of those operations where the chamfering might be an additional operation you weren't doing before. Here you can see we've got synchronous tapping going on that is available on all three turrets. 
and you can see we're doing all kinds of operations at the same time. Not necessarily uh, dependent on each other and turrets are going back and indexing, changing tools while the turrets are in the cut. The more tools you keep in, in the cut at the same time, the more your cycle time goes down. Here's just one M code that's doing the parts ejection. And you can see we've still got milling occurring while the ejecting is going on. So a lot of prep work is being done even while the cycle's finishing. Right spindle comes over to grab the part and that uh, right spindle is, is controlled by ball screw. So when it pulls out, it's a full positioning axis. So you get high accuracy by pulling with a sub spindle like that. So we can get this into about a two and a half inch diameter as well. This 303 stainless pump housing that we made, the cycle time on it's five minutes, 44 seconds. Now here's another option for better productivity. Uh, not everyone may think that a multi-turret machine is for them. This machine is a single turret BNX51 with a live turret and a sub spindle. It can do simultaneous turning on both spindles because the sub and the sub spindle has an X axis as well as a Z axis. This allows for drilling and boring to be done at the same time. Sometimes even using the drill as a boring bar. You can see here in a second, we've got that drill on the second side is actually doing a boring operation. Parallel threading can also be accomplished. They do not have to be of the same pitch or same length, as you can see here. And we find that a lot of operations can be combined. This is a huge savings over conventional single turret machines. This machine also has Y axis and heavy milling capability for the live tools. And it is possible to do simultaneous milling. So that's just another option we've got several to choose from. If we can save you 30 seconds on a five minute part, that is six minutes an hour that is saved. That's 48 minutes in a day, 240 minutes in a week, and 12,480 minutes in a year. That's 208 hours. If you run an eight hour shift, you've just saved 26 days of production. That's over one month of production that's now available to you that wasn't there before. If you multiply that times three shifts at a $75 hour rate, and you save $46,800 in a year. With Miano, we can save you much more than 30 seconds per part, maybe four times as much. That could be four months in a year. That could save you $187,200 in one year. That's some serious productivity, and we can help you get that low-hanging fruit. So let me know if you have any questions. We're here to help you out. Thank you.